Hi, I'm Dr. Dan Ratner, and today I'm joined again by Sarah. She's coming on for her second time talking through how she got better from things, but today we're talking about how to deal with society and all the different opinions that are set out there. If you haven't already, click subscribe, ring the bell for notifications, hit like if you like what you're hearing, and put your comments below. Sarah, it's so exciting to have you back here. Um, there's been a lot of very positive response to the first video with you, and I know that you very generously wanted to help people out by telling your story. I think that it did help a lot of people, and so it's a pleasure to have you back. I mean, it'd be a pleasure to have you back anyway, but that's an added bonus. Thank you. Thank you for having me again. So when you and I talked about other things we might talk about, you and I, I think, share a particular viewpoint on society and what it's like to try to get better in a society that doesn't believe in mind-body issues, mm -hmm. how we navigate that. And you're a, very, um, you're a very articulate person when it comes to these things, so I just wanted to hear from you about what your experience was, and let's compare note. Uh, compare notes um yeah well thanks for the compliment and and i i think it's a good question it's, it's something that i struggle with at, at times more more than others um um as i mentioned last time um one of the reasons that i was more more open to trying something new was be had to do with my experience in 12-step programs and just thinking, okay, well, my way isn't working and what I keep trying isn't working. So maybe, maybe I'll try something new um, and something different because it's sort of a form of insanity to keep trying the same thing and <laughs> expecting different results. Um, so I think when, gosh, I mean, whether it's I see ads on the TV or hear people talk about things, I, I guess I try to remember well, at least now what I try to remember that my experience is my experience and that person's experience is their experience. And I realize you're, you're talking a little bit more broadly about sort of society. I'm also thinking about in, individuals in my life. And I, I did go through a period of being, I, I don't know if it's just arrogant because I know I had mentioned something about that last time like about arrogance related to like I thought I knew everything about backs but just arrogant about Dr. Sarno and psychosomatic syndromes and thinking like well let me tell everybody what's worked for me <laughs> that didn't go over so well <laughs> um and, and I thought you know thinking about one person in my life in particular I'm um, um, a family member I'm very close with and I thought um well, maybe if I just keep bringing it up, maybe if I just keep bringing it up. And I actually had a similar experience with 12 step programs where I'd like bring up things as a way to try to change people. And one of the things that I've been working on um, is, I guess it goes back to what I said a few minutes ago, like my experience is my experience and I, I can't change other people's ideas. I can offer like my strength experience and hope around it. Um, and the idea of, again, not to focus too much on 12-step programs, but it's, <laughs> it's a program of attraction rather than promotion. Like if I try to promote something, oh, well, this works and this works and this works, that's very different than, well, I can just tell you that I don't have back pain for today. And I did for 25 years. Like that that's really all there is to it. And, and I remember I had mentioned last time about um, how I first found out about Dr. Sarno and two women, you know, within an hour, coincidentally in one day told me they were not trying to push anything on me. Right. Um, they were, they just said, this is what helped me. And right. and I can be dogmatic and it's something I struggle with in my life. Um, so I try to just say, just try to remember like this, this is what's helped me. It's so funny because you, you come across uh, as very uh, easygoing and thoughtful about these things. Ha ha, I knew it would make you laugh about yourself. <laughs> you do. You, you, uh, I don't know, you're, com you're coming off really well here, Sarah. <laughs> yeah, but it's, it's something that I have to, to work on right. um, to not be so dogmatic. Also, you, I, sorry, I, I guess I also 
who am I to say that this is the answer for everyone? Like, I, I don't know. I, I just, it, it makes sense to me because I've had like a life altering experience. Right. Um, yeah. So here's the thing I'm thinking about this. And, um, when I, when I'm talking to people about society or individuals and their interactions and how they've affected me or how I've been able to affect them or not, it's interesting because I realize there's really, there are two sides to this coin. There's what are we going to do with people who don't believe, which is part of what you're talking about. How am I going to sit with that? And then there's also what do we do about the people who don't believe who want us to not believe with them? Yeah. And I wondered if you could talk about that side of the experience too. Did you did you have that much? I did. I don't remember the details of of what it was like when because I think it was in De December of 2015 that I learned about Dr. Sarno, and then I think by that by that summer, a few months later, I didn't have back pain every day like and and the other stuff that I was struggling with other health issues also went away and just haven't really returned in what is that five five years six years <laughs> sounds about um, right yeah and so um sorry I just lost my train of thought well we were talking about when society um wants you to start not believing with them again yeah. Okay. And I was thinking about in that time, who in my life, I don't remember how many people I talked to about it. I'm sure I did because I'm a sharer. Um, <laughs> but I, I've found over the years that I, I've, I've offered my Dr. Sarno book um, to, to multiple people. I've sent links to, you know, different videos, different things. I reached out to, and I don't know if I mentioned this last time, I reach out to every specialist that I could think of, especially within the last few years that I had been to for various issues, not not just about backs, my, back, my back, but about other stuff. And just say, hey, I just wanna let you know that I'm doing better and this is something that helped me. And if you wanna talk, like I'm happy to share my experience. There was only one, did I, I'm sorry if I said those mm -hmm. last time. You didn't tell, uh, not that I'm recalling. There was only one person, it was an acupuncturist who I saw, this was back when I lived in New York, she was in Brooklyn, a lovely woman. And um, she not only wrote back, but she said, I, I would really, I'd love to hear your experience. And we talked on the phone maybe for an hour and I just told her um, about my, I guess I'll call it my recovery. And, <laughs> and sort of my, the way, you know, I would go in, I would say, I'm struggling with this. And then I was, I'm struggling with this. I'm struggling with this. Da, 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 da. And I remember when we talked, she said, yeah, this is really helpful. And I'm thinking about a lot of different people that I see where there's always something. And I don't know what she ended up doing with that information, but there was not one other person who said they wanted to talk to me. And that's okay. Like, I mean, I, I have feelings about it, but it's not about me. It's not about me. I, I did my part by by trying to reach out and um, a bunch of people are said like, I'm glad that you found something that works for you. And that this maybe starts starting mm. to get to answer your question or response. I've had some people who are close to me in my life who have said things like that. Like, I'm glad that works for you. And <laughs> yeah, right. I'm glad you're chuckling. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, maybe that does jive with what I just said a few minutes ago. Like, hey, this is my experience. Who might I say it's going to work for other people? But back to what you said to me years ago, it's a leap of logic, not of faith. I'm like, well, maybe this right. does work for other people too. And I even just the idea of, you know, it's alternative, which that's not a word that you and I have talked about it. But mm -hmm. I think that is what people think. It's an alternative approach. I'm like, is it alternative or or is it just, I don't Yeah, uh, look, you're you're hitting at the heart of the matter of what I had hoped we talked about in this. Because the fact is, I think this is different. When people say that phrase, I'm glad you found what worked for you, it sounds like we 
were like, so I started to believe in aliens and they, yes. you know, came and gave me a, a you know, a, an LSD lollipop. And then, you know, like it sounds like craziness when you hit the nail on the head there. We've talked about this. It's not a leap of faith. This is about actual science and logic. And so, and, and some people might say, I have too strong a stance in this, but this is just the stance I have within me. It's not necessarily the stance that I bring to dinner parties or every single conversation. But my feeling is we actually uh, have embraced something that is true. Yeah. I don't, I think I'm still reluctant to share that, like, especially in this forum. Like, I, I don't know who's listening to this, not... <laughs> Um, but between you and me, wink, wink. Just, just between us. <laughs> right, just between us. Yeah, but that now I know I'm going against what I said a few minutes ago. So I... Um, but see, what you said a few minutes ago isn't necessarily mutually exclusive with this because there are times where I, you know, keep it in. I don't foist it on everybody, you know. Yeah. But within myself and with the people who have gotten better, I like to represent it not as... Yeah, we found the thing that works for us just like other people sometimes find the thing that works for them. The thing I love about this is it is based on science and logic and there's just to me this fits with everybody and I'm I personally am not going to apologize about it. <laughs> um I think that's great that, that you don't apologize. And you also know more about this than I do. I know about my experience, but you know more about the science. I can't speak to that. Um and what I what I can say is people in my life who struggle whether it's with back stuff or other stuff I can't say I know it works for them like I, I don't see them I don't see another solution I see drugs right and doctors and all of that stuff but is that working for people I don't think so was that was that working for me no I think mm -hmm. at the time though I'll focus on my back for a moment like I did believe at some level, like, oh, I'm just, I'm managing it with doing this and this and this and this. Um, is that working? I mean, that, I'm just grateful I don't have to live like that today. And and the gratitude you carry around with you, I, that comes through very, very well. And it's a great place to be. And you and I also have different, we have different um, roles that we're going to play in this in, in terms of how we're deciding to do things. So, I, I kind of, I feel like it's part of my responsibility to be a little more out front about it. And I don't think that you necessarily need to. Um, but I did find that there were a lot of people in my life who seemed to not want me to believe this. Mm. And there was a lot of challenges posed and a lot of people trying to get me to doubt. And of course, this is called crushing doubt. So yeah. the idea that people... I, I found that there were a lot of people who were threatened by these ideas in a way mm -hmm. and not really thinking about me as the pain sufferer. They were thinking about them as, I don't know, the person who wanted to know something in a certain way. And I often say to people who are not suffering from pain, listen, you want to be careful to listen to the pain sufferer about this and think about how your, your comment that might be designed to I don't know, look at a piece of logic or nail down a piece of science. That pain sufferer is trying to recover from something big. Mm -hmm. And I just, I want to, I want to put in a plug for the rest of society to hear the people who are suffering more and take their word for it. Cause they're the ones who know from the inside out. So uh, listen, I'm taking a, a, a strong stance myself, but I wanted to hear your viewpoint on what, do you think it was part of what helped you that I did have that strong sense? Because I did even then. Mm, that's a good question. Might be hard to know. Well, I think as I had mentioned last time, I was very angry, right? All the rage. I was so <laughs> angry sitting in your office those two times. Like, <laughs> who were you to tell me you used to have back pain? And like, I've been in therapy for years. Like, I um did it help me I, I think it helped me that you didn't seem to be angry at me even though i felt so angry at you 
that you, I guess, I guess, yes, since you were, yes, you were very sure of yourself. I don't, I, I think that it's a, upset me, but it also gave me the opportunity to say, well, I, I can try what he's talking yeah yeah and it, and it is a mix it's a it's a balance but i think uh, let me put it to you a different way then uh, separate from whether i helped you with that do you think it would have been helpful if some people in your life already had believed this and it didn't feel so all alone yes well i mean i told you that i found out about dr sarno through two different women not who i knew that well but i knew well enough so that that meant something to me um and actually the person who i referred to before um someone who i'm very close with my family he mm -hmm. actually did read one of dr sarno's book years ago um he just felt and still to this day feels like well it didn't really work for me but sarah i'm glad it works for you mm -hmm. so in some ways it helped and that's one of the reasons I tried for so many years after I found out and it wasn't just about finding out like oh my god I don't have back pain anymore like I see that you're suffering I see that you're suffering like would you be open to reading Dr. Turner's new book The Divided Mind you know as opposed to the ones that should focus just on back it's like let's look at this more holistically and blah. and I I don't know I feel I don't know if it's that I've given up um and you know i don't know if i had the, the experience of people trying to put doubt in my head about dr Rosano as much as even with all of my recovery people in my life just sort of i feel like speak to me in a condescending way um mm -hmm. like mm -hmm. it, it's sort of that thing of like i'm glad that's working for you mm -hmm. like pat on the head yeah exactly like you're a little off and that's honestly one of the reasons i was reluctant to even talk to you in this forum because it it's it's so um yeah it's not mainstream and right um, i need to be mainstream about everything i mean i <laughs> at all um but i do feel like there it's like i'm opening myself up for judgment when, yeah. when I'm here with anybody about this. No, and look, when I started writing my book, uh, which was now, you know, probably over six years ago, something like that, it's it's getting close to finish. But when I started writing it, I, I described it as it being an experience, as close an experience as I could get to coming out of the closet. Because I was <laughs> like, I'm going to tell you guys that I believe these things. But the more, one of the reasons I like to be this vocal, it's actually a self-support. You know, it's like, the more I can back myself up that I'm the one who's actually making sense here, the less worried I feel in the face of other people. And I guess I want to, um, I want to lend that to people that you, you have a chance to not even view this as alternative because this is the, it's the human condition. Yeah. You know, be like saying, Oh, you know, all those people who believe in gravity, it's, you know, right. alternative universe. Yeah. I just, I think it must be so hard for people again. I don't know who your audience is, um, but for people who haven't had any recovery to, to learn about these things and wonder like what's going on. Whereas I, I just get to think of my experience and then I feel assured about my perspective. And, and look, a lot of times that's good enough. That's what you needed. You know, when you came to see me, you wanted to get, understandably, relief from the pain. And we got you that. And it doesn't, you don't have to get more than that. You don't have to be on a life mission about it like I am. It doesn't matter. And we don't have to convince everybody. So I'm happy you got what you needed. And I'm happy to be doing what I'm doing. And we're we're both on a good path. That's that's what I care about. Yeah, and I appreciate that it's your life life's mission because it impacted me I, <laughs> I think you know you mentioned very early on this like something about my being articulate about talking about these things I actually don't agree with that and it's not like oh let me try to be humble like i struggle so much in talking about these that's 
I always just say, sorry, no. it reminds me of not to turn this into a political thing, the way people talk about 9 11, because it's so, it's so much more complicated. So people just simplify it and say 9 11. And well, what does that mean? That's just the date. And I and I do that with Dr. Sarno. I'm like, Dr. Sarno. And then sometimes I'll throw in the word psychosomatic, but really it's, it's so much more than that. It's like the way I look at my my body and my life and my feelings and everything. And I, I find it so hard to talk about. And maybe that's one of the reasons I could say it's, it's not my life's mission because I'm not sure how I would do that. And my attempt or my attempts to do that with people in my life, it hasn't worked that well. Yeah, uh, I, I follow you. <laughs> you have more success with that. I mean, that's also your profession and you're writing a book about it. It's, it's very different. If I had had more success, you know, and I knew people who had borrowed my book and said, oh my gosh, like, that's great. Now, not just that book is great, but like my life is completely changed. Maybe it's yeah. different. You know, I, and I know you got to run in a minute, so I'm going to finish up on this for this time. Yeah. But when I say you're articulate, part of what I mean is just, first of all, you're generally articulate. But secondly, you articulate the struggle yeah. to be articulate about it. That That's part of what you articulate really well. And so it's not, uh, there's multiple levels at which people can be articulate. And I, I'm i finding a lot of value in yours. And I think my viewing audience are, are mostly people who are getting better and working to get better. So you're talking to the right to the right people. So Sarah, I want to thank you for coming back on again. And I hope you'll come back again soon. I, I love talking to you. It's, we have great conversations. Yeah. Um, yeah. Thank you again for having me. And it's, um, I guess I wanted to share that I, um, I appreciate the opportunity to talk about this because you don't really have people who I talk to on any regular basis. I mean, the people who are close to me know Dr. Sarno, you know, oh, I'm not in pain. Like I can, my daughter just turned one a few days ago. She's 24 pounds. I pick her up about a million times a day. <laughs> I have no idea how, how I would, how, how would I be doing this? And um, so it, this helps remind me of, everything I have in my life in some way, not everything, but so much of what I have in my life, it's because of Dr. Sarno and you and Dr. Rushbaum. And that's, hmm. it gives me a chance to reflect on my gratitude. I guess that's what it is. So thank you. Well, I, it, it's, it means the world to me to, to know that you are living such a better life than when we first met. I'm really so pleased. Yeah, I, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so let's keep in touch, Sarah, and uh, we'll we'll talk again soon. Okay, thank you so much. Nice to see you. You too, Sarah. Bye. It was totally fascinating to spend time with Sarah on this particular topic. I love spending time with her and seeing the relief that she got in general, but talking about the way that we interact with society was particularly fascinating to me because she and I had very different experiences. I found myself focused on the frustrations of people doing things and saying things that were triggering or not empathic, whereas she was noting that it was hard for her to deal with people uh, not accepting the way of thinking and having to just leave off of that. I've had that too, but what it shows is that everybody has their different path, their different struggles with what goes on. And I'm really grateful to Sarah for continuing to show what happened for her and talking to people about it because she wants to help other people get better from it so very grateful to her if you haven't already click subscribe ring the bell for notifications hit like if you like what you're hearing and put your comments below and i'll get back to you personally